Hello and welcome back to Phoenix Point. We are conquering South America and actually we need a base. I need to somehow build the enemy containment. Also I decided to just to sneak in uh, some new razors. No razors. Uh, so we will be eventually able to get some guys. Uh, unexplored site. Like, let's just explore it. The team still can... Okay. H Haven info. Now we got two guys. Joseph Possum Wheelhouse. <clears throat> let's recruit him. And now he's one of our personnel. He is... I'm, I have no idea what he is. He is an infiltrator. Proficiency with crossbows and spider drone de deployment. Baseline stealth factor is 25% as long as the character isn't revealed. I'm not even sure what stealth is. What about stealth? The game never told me what stealth is. Wait, what? The stealth factor of a character is determined by armor worn and special abilities. The stealth factor modifies the perception of enemy characters for spotting checks. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, that's what I expected, and that's exactly what it does. So stealth is basically worthless. <laughs> uh, you just don't get spotted. This only is relevant if you're using long-range weapons. So, for example, the enemy has a 40 uh, tile spotting radius. And you have a stealth of... <laughs> like, let's just go 25. That means their, uh, their line of sight is only effectively 30. Which is still quite a bit. But if you combine it with some stealth gear, uh, like this infiltrator can do, then it becomes 20. So, I mean, you, you can be tricky about it. But stealth is not something that's useful, like a, a little bit, you know. You, you had to go a lot of stealth, or probably it's not gonna work the damn thing. And currently, we just had like... like what is this? 14% stealth? <laughs> so, I just couldn't tell. Like... <laughs> it just did nothing, basically. But maybe, maybe 40% stealth, uh, it might be uh, noticeable. Especially on a spotter. Anyway... So, let's keep looking at this guy. <clears throat> Not this one. <laughs> this one. Training. But what a, what is this... Crossbow and spider drone? Okay. But we don't have crossbows. And I definitely don't have any spider drones. Attacks from behind gain shock value equal to three times the damage dealt. Ooh, that's... Very situational. Deploy holographic decoy at the chosen location. The decoy is treated as a real target by all enemies. Now that might be pretty good. <clears throat> Deploy three spider drones with one actions. Ah, uh, okay. Oh my god. Reckless. I don't know what to make of this uh, person. I mean... Welcome aboard, but you need some gear. Well, what we should do is make some sniper gear, I suppose. At this point, the Manticore can... wait. Well, the new, new Razor should be the first, and... Uh, uh, I don't know. So we can get... Uh, an infiltrator here, not an infiltrator, a berserker. I can keep looking around, but there's a one disadvantage. Is that if we get into a, a fight, that's it. So I don't know, maybe we should go back. <clears throat> because Manticore 2 could use more guys. It does have a, a, a truck. I might just go back. We need one more guy for Manticore 2. But also Manticore 1 shouldn't be doing nothing. 
Research complete. Okay. Also, we need to consider research because currently we cannot research at all. I need to capture aliens to not waste my research. So we came back home. Uh, one thing I'm gonna check out is that are we taking weapons that maybe can be reverse engineered? Uh, he doesn't have the jack shit. Nikita. No, no, not these gears. So I guess we're just gonna wait. When Manticore comes, uh, one comes back, we can make some uh, changes, I guess. Uh, let's do an area scan and explore. <clears throat> construction complete. What construction? Someone is getting attacked, yeah. Let's just finish. Let's search the area. Materials and food. Yeah, I kind of want to keep going. But we can't. We need to... Do this. To get some... Oh shit, they're gonna get run over. Okay. Okay, this just really tells me that we need multiple squads, or that's it. Understood. I need to rest. Cameron Dragon needs to stay back home. Cameron, how about if I can find you, you join Phoenix Point? Not Manticore 1. What about Manticore 2? Where is Manticore 2? Oh, Manticore 2 is part of the wrong place. Crap. Manticore 2, come back home! So, Cameron is going to choose Manticore 2 for now. Uh, we can reverse engineer some weapons, I'm pretty sure. But in order to do that, we need to not take them. Oh yeah, a new razor. Uh, but it needs to be on someone who can actually run in. Which the best, the best at that is actually uh, Cameron Dragon Beards. Uh, but uh, we might have some runner-ups here. Any assault? I mean, any assault? No. I guess these could work. We got the heavy assault and we got the sniper assault. Okay, let's do that. So we have that. And there's another assault here. Sure. So we can reverse engineer this uh, shotgun. Yatar. Independent assault rifle, which is just straight up worse than uh, what we got. Reverse engineering that shotgun would be nice, but if I did that, we would not have a shotgun. Manticore 2 has a. Wait, what? No, 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 that's, that's not it. I don't want to waste too much time here. Okay, not you. Um, I don't like this interface too much. It's uh, it could be better. The only reason why I'm a little eager to go down to South America again is because we might find the base there. Also, kind of want to go there. In uh, ten hours, we will be able to go around and. Uh, Maybe find uh, another guy to join with us, join us, but we also need gear. And we need guns as well. So this new guy who joined us, he can use crossbows and spider mines. 
Now I don't have any of those. So that's not the best. Actually, I'm a little tempted to just cancel this. I can't move it. God damn it. Manticore 2. Manticore 1 is going on a mission. I definitely need at least two planes. I mean, that that is proven now. We were in South America and we just couldn't deal with what we needed to deal with. I just want regular guys here. So what we got here? We got uh, a sniper. Manticore 2, you guys head out. Pick up the sniper. Manticore 1, in the meantime. Oh, Manticore 1, what we have here? Oh, this is the new Jericho Elite. The only reason I came here with Manticore 1 is that we can pop a search. I think we have to. Uh, we are not gonna get the guy. Ooh, actually, we are finding a lot of interesting locations. Um, okay, maybe start with that. <clears throat> but Manticore 2 will simply hire the guy like it was planned. And Manticore 2... Wait, what? What we got here? I think nothing? I think gray means that we can't hire anybody there. Uh, yeah, we can hire a Berserker here. I'm actually not a huge fan of the Berserkers. Especially because we wouldn't have a, a, a gear for it either. Okay, let's see Manticore 2. I'm pretty sure that Manticore 2 has free soldiers now. Exactly. We can go back to base while keeping an eye on, on Manticore 1 as well. We completed the Banshee armor. Uh, let's just keep making some more Banshee stuff. And we also gonna need some guns. Like uh, having a sniper rifle. Reverse engineering the sniper rifle I'm using right now would be really nice. Let's just put in a, a sniper rifle or two. Yeah, let's just get rid of that. Let's make sure we have one. <sighs> Wait, I think we made the... Uh, yeah, I think we made the power plant here. We have 40 power. Oh shit. We don't have any more materials to make anything. Okay. A uh, bit of a wasted power plant, I suppose. At least for now. Uh, making stuff is definitely not cheap. Uh, the only reason Manticore 2 is actually going back home. To drop off people. So, maybe even the truck. So we drop off the truck. We drop off... Wait, I, I think someone needs to be uh, part of the team though. We drop off this guy. Actually, this might work. Equipment. Armor. Just all. So we can get this gear for him. That's not a problem. Uh, I guess that's better than nothing. And the only thing we are missing here is a sniper. Which will be done in 10 hours. So I guess he's just gonna stay here. There's not much point. Cameron Dragon, you just gonna stay on Phoenix Point. And, uh, yes. Yes. So Manticore 2 only has one member. I don't think we... Do we even need a member for Manticore 2? For Manticore 2 to fly? Let's see. Manticore 2, can you go? Manticore 2 can fly around without any members. Just to pick up, uh, maybe... Uh, some recruits. 
Let's just see if it works. Explore. Just make sure that we're actually controlling both of them. The atmosphere at Ginsburg is subdued. An attack some months ago resulted in 200 deaths, reminded the citizens that their little utopia is surrounded by an apocalypse that will not simply go away when they stop paying attention. They never felt quite right since. I mean, we can offer them 25 mats. Well, they like me a little bit more. I mean, that's fine. Uh, sure. Let's go this way. Explore. Can we hire? Even info. Wait, what? You don't have enough resources to recruit soldiers? 125 tech and 370 materials to hire that guy? I mean, I guess I don't. <sighs> I thought I did. I mean, that guy's just too damn expensive. What the fuck? Okay, you get back home. Maybe we just go on uh, some uh, resource missions. Let's search the site. Oh, 500 mats? I like that. Okay. Who? Haven Bakunin. Oh shit. We don't have the... The plane there. And we don't have a second team. No, they're gonna overrun... Gonna get overrun and... Before we would get there. I mean, we don't even, we have the sniper rifle. So look at what we got. We got this guy who doesn't have jack shit. I mean, not proficient. That means... What does it mean if it's not proficient? Yeah. It doesn't seem to mean that you can't use it at all. It just means that you're gonna be much worse at it. At any rate, uh, we have a sniper we can use. So this kind of works. We can also put an ammo, extra ammo. So with this, we have a, like a level one sniper. I mean, it's not much, not much at all. We can take the truck. So the best I can do is one sniper, one truck. This goes into Manticore 2. We have a uh, rock star, uh, Cameron Dragon Beards, who is missing apparently some bullets, but other than that, uh, ready for anything. This can be in Manticore 2, and Gabriel can be in Manticore 2 as well. So, five people in Manticore 2, but this just seems very risky. Actually, no, this is not the person. This, like this. I mean, I got away with a lot in this game. But I'm not sure if I can get away with this. I mean, I can just like send one person to defend a base. And that's kind of what it looks like now. Pandorian Lair. And I can just... Oh, these are new... Wait. Exploration site? I don't think we can justify attacking here. Attacking force points 6. So, 6 guys we need to take out. 
I don't think this is... I don't think this works. I have to give this up. I want to see if something happens if we go to a location we already visited. No, we can only area scan. But it seems like uh, there are some new new things popping up. How many enemies have we got here? I mean, if there was like a way, I would do it. But I don't think I don't think it works. And we're just gonna play it uh, seriously here. Let's just explore. No, we're gonna let that fall. Haven destroy. Okay, let's pop. Not Manticore 2. Manticore 1 is gonna pop an area scan here. Wait, that's gonna be the cap? If I pop an area scan, that's gonna be the cap of that. Let's do it. We can also pop one here. It's fine. Area scans are not that expensive. One well, for sure, Manticore 2 shouldn't be sitting back at home, but we need to get go out and find one guy. So this guy would cost us 900 food. Which is not the best. This guy's a heavy, would cost us 400. Which is... Fine, I think. But this guy's just too pricey. <laughs> Way too pricey. And no other soldiers are available. We just need to get whatever we can get. Okay, uh... Let's move there. And back at home, they're manufacturing that. Sure. Do we go and pick up... If we're taking a heavy, we need to pick up a golem body armor. Uh, just because... It gives us jetpack ability. Also sp slows us down, but like jetpacking is cool. I don't know if I wanna have the full golem set. We might just go with the uh, golem with Banshee. Which seems a little odd, but... Actually, maybe, maybe we want full on golem. Oh, that's not all, not all in. Just golem with golem. And more golem. Okay. I need more tech. Okay, that's fine. Manticore 2 is on the way. Manticore 1. Just keeps exploring. I've tried to find a base, uh, base in South America. Pandorans will reach Phoenix Point in 11 hours. Oh shit, they will? I'm gonna go down. Uh, Haven Info. Recruit the soldier and take the soldier back at base, back to base. Oh my god. We seem to be having a big problem here. <laughs> this this is base is going to be overrun. Let's go back. Scan complete. I wanna pop a scan here. Without staying, because apparently we're gonna be attacked in 11 hours. What? Oh shit, do we need to abandon the base? Uh, to be fair, the game could have uh, given me a better warning. Not like a silent pop-up that I barely could see. And it was still unclear how much time I got. I think we're just gonna die. Whoever's in the base cannot defend it. I can tell that. I can tell uh, already. And uh, I could have left some of uh, 
Well, I could have left all of uh, Manticore 2 to defend the base. I'm just kind of hoping that we can take take back the base. Else it's gonna be damn awkward losing the main base. To some uh, silent pop-up or n no warning whatsoever. Close to no warning whatsoever. I mean, if you're wearing a helmet, mates, why would you not wear the whole thing? <laughs> I don't get it. It just looks dumb. If anything, uh... Okay, I mean, there's no way. We need to re retreat. Oh shit, what? Kill all enemies, key structures protected 100%. I think there's like an escape area. Isn't there like an emergency lift? That apparently... Gets me out of the base. Yeah, there. I mean, what is this mission? I mean, very, very cool. I wonder how this is going to go. He's going to get killed. Seriously? Ah, uh, this turn bait co combat is going to suck. I don't want to see their actions, come on. I can't go out the front door, that's for sure. Can I just somehow give up? This is taking way too long, game. I'm kind of tempted to just take this character and get him killed. I don't want him to die, or to die, whatever. But this is taking too long. You fucked up, game. And still frenzy. I mean, if he had a good team here, this is doable. But I don't really want to see five minutes of enemies uh, doing nothing. And uh, me spending... I don't know how long running there. This is probably we are look probably looking forward to at least the 40 minutes of this guy running for his life. If I even manage to go in the right direction, we need to climb up. I think any location could work. Yeah, we climb up over there. I mean, there's nothing I can do. <sighs> Game. I can't even escape. My first time I want to cheat in this game. Highest difficulty. Only reason I want to cheat is because of this shit. Or kill my character. I don't know. Do we just get him killed? That would be the first character death as well. You fucked up, game. You really fucked up this time. Oh my god. <laughs> I can't. I can't take this. I really hope I saved. We're back. Unfortunately, I didn't make a save <clears throat> before uh, starting the video. And, you know, we, we just progressed a little bit. This is the auto save. And I guarantee you guys. That uh, base action would have been three hours of me running for my life. I actually couldn't uh, reload uh, while their turn was happening. And I, I swear I spent like half an hour uh, making like one screen worth of... Uh, well, not even one screen. Like kind of like one screen worth of movement. I mean, wow. 
I mean, that's kind of usually the problem with turn-based games, you know, because simultaneous turn-based... That's basically turn-based plus. You know, everything happens at the same time. That's cool. But a turn base could be cool, but uh, you gotta make sure that situations like that never happen. Also, keep in mind that we did learn from that experience that the excess lift is utterly and completely useless. What it should say is that spend three hours running for your life if things go badly. I mean, at that point, I might even just restart the fucking game. <laughs> well, I'll probably just uh, I'll get there sooner. <clears throat> anyway. Ready all defenses. I don't know what this uh, save is. Uh, auto save. And we apparently we managed to get back. In time. Uh, I'm still gonna have a naked guy who has no value. I can't change that. I guess I could have given him a gun. Uh, yeah, note for the devs. Uh, if you... If you get attacked, at least you should have a screen of, Oh fuck, you got attacked, let's just change some loadouts. Because we gotta have a naked guy here. All I think changed is that instead of the... The Manticore 2 just flying off into the... Whatever. Uh, actually, came back to base. So that's it. Mantigorvan couldn't make it back. <clears throat> but we got the car, right? Oh shit, the car is here. So we got Linwood. This is the heavy guy that we picked up. <laughs> and he has nothing. Perfect. Good job, game. You fucked up. You fucked up big time. <laughs> uh, and we got a sniper who has stuff. I mean, would you really wanna defend here? Oh shit. What are you doing? You're just blocking? Wow. I don't know. Maybe you try to run away. Just, just get out of the way, okay? Just go up here. I mean, if he started in the back, next to the escape, uh, fair enough, it might have worked, but he didn't. And uh, we have another character who started over here. Because why would you start over here? That makes no sense. Also, they are spread out. Ah, all right, run back. So, take the car. I don't know if this is gonna work. This is gonna be the hardest fight we ever fought. I, I guarantee it. How far we can shoot? Not that far. <laughs> uh, we cannot overwatch with the car. But I can choose to get closer. And then just keep going back. Also, we have no way to pass the turn. I mean, just delay the turn of the car. Yeah, I mean, that's too close too. Uh, they are gonna come in this way. No other way. So, might as well, as the sniper, run over here. Or maybe over here. Over here Let's seems walk. fine. And we can just do a peekaboo action eventually. But most importantly, the assault. Yeah. Maybe next to the car. I think I might even do a dash. Okay, let's just dash over here. No, no, no. Just Sprinting full on, full on run over there. Uh, that's the plan. Just running away. I mean, this is the best area. If we can somehow use the choke point against them, we gotta be fucked. 
Hardest fight we ever fought, I guarantee it. Because we basically have nobody to fight it with. We need to rely on the truck uh, hitting uh, multiple targets while they are getting grouped in the choke point. <clears throat> Activate with caution. How the fuck are they already here? Who built this shit base? There's no way. They should be banging on the door or something. I should have like a fucking vault. Dude, make the... Look at this shit. Even the door is wide open. There's a fucking door here. Look at how... No. What the fuck? Okay, I could understand the outside area. You know, that's the the landing pad, some, maybe some random trash, whatever. But we got one entrance into the base. It's a big fucking uh, thick door. And it's open. And you can't close it. All you would need to do, you know, this this could be improved by a lot. And I, and I got to this uh, because I, I got pissed off. This could be improved by so much is but that the enemies attack you and they are stuck into this you know they just try to break into your base and uh and you have time to to try to fix it <clears throat> yeah the problem here is that I, I mean we're dealing with a ceiling here I don't think we can change it too much. You need to not only run away, but also if you can help it. Wait, what? Oh, that that just that just goes nowhere. Oh no. I mean, maybe go that way? It doesn't matter too much what he does. He just needs to run away. Well, I don't know. Maybe evacuate. But I guess back to the Manticore too. It doesn't matter too much. So... What can we do? Yeah, that's not gonna work. But he also can move too much. Or he can overwatch. I think he might be able to get away with uh, hiding here. Holding position. For now. Well, what about the truck? Maybe if we move it a little bit? I just, I just wanna get a good hit. Uh, even if on two guys. This would be so great if you can actually hit more of them. But I don't think that's gonna work. Let's do it. Ah. Oh shit. Oh, that looks bad. Uh, we can't lose the truck. <clears throat> That's everything. Uh, uh oh. We don't have grenades, I believe. We don't. Okay, then. I mean, we might just go for a, a shot here on everybody. Then just go back. Uh, this is not going to be solved by the assault. This is all up to the truck. And we can only do it by hitting and kiting. This uh, hangar has a high ceiling. So if they're gonna die somewhere, this is it. Nowhere else. It doesn't seem to give you any cover. So for now, I think we're just gonna stand there. She can run away. Yeah, I, I know. Well, no. I guess we might go for another shot, in case we're staying. Yeah, 
whatever. Yeah. Great stuff. Uh, that's the mind controller, right? Siren. That's gonna be extremely hard to kill. Because these are just some trashy units. Look at that, he was good for something. He can't even run. He sucks at everything. No weapon, no running. Wow. Oh shit, what? I didn't see it. That was too much. I was I was looking way. Who shot me with the big big gun? That's, That's nice. But keep in mind, two of them snuck in. What? Seventy damage. Okay. So the truck goes for a hit. Okay. We have to go for AOE. I don't know what's in the distance, but I think it might be the invisible guy. Okay, that's nice. Oh, he's dead. Fuck yeah! He was good for something. That was nice to see. Um... I guess we're just gonna hit whatever we can. What? Try again. He tanked it with the gun? What a bastard. I'm going. Okay, fine. Um... I might just dash out. No, 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 not recover. Dash. Although, we, we might need the dash. Although, I, I have uh, one extra dash. Whatever. Uh, let's go over here. For the wicked. Shoot him in the head. Targeting. Uh, yep. The big pumpkin head will work. And we can use the rest of the action points to go back. Moving to position. That's fine. Actually, she's a little wounded, so let's just hide behind the, the big tank. And uh, considering the situation, we can just... But well, there's not much hiding with the truck, right? I guess so. But we can still lure them in. So let's do that. And turn. Wait, what? Is he here? I could have used the dash. We might get killed now. Because we lost some HP and we didn't heal. The fuck is this? Come in, you puss. Where's the invisible guy? Is he somewhere here? I saw him somewhere here, but the truck sees it maybe over there. Maybe he died. Invisible. Uh, I wanna heal. Like, hunting for the invisible guy uh, does seem pretty nice. But let's just heal. Let's just go for something guaranteed. Healing. And recovering willpower. I don't know. That can wait. So we can just come over here, take take a look, and no one is here apparently. So we go back. Uh, we can take a shot, just in case the invisible guy is there. Yeah, see, this is a good defense in a way. Advancing. 
Uh, no, 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 no. I just, I just want to defend that. Overwatching. That's it. Just let them cut him a choke point. And also, look at that. Now the enemy is outside. He's not coming. Is he coming inside? Wait, what is this? Aren't you a little late to the party? How did you arrive? <clears throat> oh, the siren is coming. I mean, that's that's the one we need to kill. Okay. Well, rest in peace, mate. You can't hit the siren. Um, I just wanna. Lure out the siren. And well we can go back. If you're ever going back. No, this is fine. We can we can camp here. And we are not showing our face because we can get shot. I think the siren is the one that can snipe. She is slippery. I mean, yeah. I mean, come on. Do I look like a dumbass? I'm not gonna rush out. Got this covered. If you want me, you gotta come and get me. I'm even gonna hide the truck. Out of ammo reload? Holy shit. You need to do that. We definitely need to reload the truck. Do we have extra ammo for the truck? Oh sh what? 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 You need to bring extra ammo for the truck? I didn't know that. And now the truck is useless. Actually, not completely useless. It's still good for tanking. Although that's not exactly the primary use for it. I have for it, but I guess the the truck is gonna be a big distraction now. Saving loud and clear. Okay, maybe we can pop out. Say what the hell, and uh, shoot this guy in the back. Then hide. Yeah, just hide. Let's do this. What else we got? So the sniper. Wow, this is not going even badly. Even 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 like how I planned. I, I just I didn't run didn't wanna run out of the bullets for the the truck. Oh man. Okay, try to find an angle with the sniper. We try to regroup here. I uh, just just wait. This is usually a dumbass. Get the truck. It's fine. The truck is the distraction now. Can we take him out? I don't think he's going to die. Oh, well, it's very close. Oh, it, it's actually super close, but yeah, he's going to die. Uh, okay. So, just park the car over here. Channel and, uh, I guess we just wait. One thing we can do is go for a big rush. And I, I think I'm just gonna get closer. We are planning that. But that's the only way we're gonna do it. I'm kinda hoping that uh, she's gonna take the bait. Dashing ahead. Okay. And she's just like, oh yeah. Let's go get them. But no. Uh, she is <sighs> patient. And I hate that. What's her plan? Okay, enter. Don't you wanna come for me?
Okay. Well, we can start getting closer. Uh, still bringing the car. Forward. I just, I just want to tank with the truck. And lure out the siren with the truck. Can we run over the siren with the truck? I don't think we can. But that it would be cool if we could. Let's try. So we go in with the truck. Enemy spotted. I don't think it's possible to run over enemies with the truck. What we can do is get in with the truck. Oh man. I would love to run you over. And if we are... We, maybe we can just hide in the truck after we finish shooting. Pushing on. Okay, let's see what we got here. Well, the sniper can't dash. Oh, we gotta be a little careful here. Uh, okay, let's just get close. And... Receiving. Loud and clear. Oh, let's see. We gotta use shotgun, that's for sure. Let's see what we're dealing with here. Oh, we should get closer. Anything that's very vulnerable? Not quite. I think the tail might be the best uh, bet here. I'm, I will be able to deal... I think like 200-ish damage to it? No, not 200. I need to double dash here. Wait, what? Can I dash? Why can I dash there? Um... What? Does it just not show it that I can? That's very weird. What? Why can I dash there? I can dash over there, but I can't dash over there. <sighs> I mean, this should be basically max damage. Huh. I can dash away. So if we can go for double shotgun hits, then dash away, maybe? If that works. Can we dash away? Okay, let's dash away. And... We're gonna use the truck to block a movement after them. Uh, the truck, of course, gonna get hits. And that's just fine. Okay. Nope. You can't go past. Yeah, sure. Hit the truck. Uh, just let me go past. And, uh, how about a little shot in the face? Ready to fire. Oh. You would like it in the booby? Ah, uh, maybe tail. Doesn't really matter, right? Not dead yet. Oh, let's remedy that real quick. Got a big shotgun. You will surely enjoy. Oh, in the booby, that's what you like. Ah, oh, what the hell. One less to worry. Okay! Five will points. So it seems to be based on the enemy. The, the, the basic ones only give two. KIA <laughs> damaged. <laughs> oh man. 
Yeah, you you get uh, XP for participation. This guy did nothing but run away. Uh, this was at least a good uh, example of that. But you mostly get stuff for doing stuff, so you mostly get XP. Okay, I mean it, it worked. I wasn't terribly happy with how this uh, base attack was handled. Like they just like they just get in. Oh man. Okay, cool. We defended the base and uh, our heavy should be able to get new stuff. Personnel. We can level up. Level 6. I don't know. Gain shotgun and melee weapon proficiency with 20% damage. So, yeah. I mean, with that we can deal more damage with shotguns that I, I'm already a little bit doing. So, I think close quarter specialist is gonna be a thing. But I'm not sure what else. So, we have a lot of speeds. Uh, willpower is nice. We can go and push up willpower. No, we already have 13 willpower. I think that's basically uh, as good as it gets. So, we can just go more HP. And that should be fine. We can just go and uh, pick up that. We can even go for a better shotgun. <clears throat> anyway, what other personnel we are dealing with here? Uh, yeah, so she would like to heal a little bit. I guess we can give her ammo. Although I'm not exactly sure why she doesn't have ammo. Right? Uh, training... 50? Wait, what? So, pistols are not that good, although we get 20 damage, so that means 20 damage on the pistol is not 20% uh, damage, but actually that's 40% damage. But the problem with the uh, 20 damage, it might be really good early on, but I, I think it might fall off. It's, it's not bad, it's not bad for sure, because we can hit... 70 with the pistol, so 70 damage for one point. That that actually could be pretty damn good. Overwatch cost is reduced by one action point. Wait, that, does this mean that we can overwatch for free with the pistol? I think we can just pick this up and see how it works out. Uh, I'm not... Too keen on speed. Maybe maybe speed is gonna be more relevant for this character. So 13. 16. Although he's still not gonna, not gonna be very fast. Uh, personnel. And this guy. Actually he's just waiting for the gear we are currently manufacturing for him. Okay. I need to take the shotgun. I'm using on one character. So the problem with Manticore 2... Do we have Manticore 2 here? Uh, they can just stay on Phoenix Point. Uh, along with the truck that needs to uh, repair. And we can still take Manticore 2 to perhaps recruit one extra guy. Although I don't think we need it. We don't need it, but yeah, I mean, it's not gonna hurt. So we can recruit a berserker here for 900 food. And the only other guy I know about is uh, some kind of specialist here. Which is this? I mean, just just looks damn pricey, so we can't get it. I might be wrong. There's some other people here, but uh, no. 
We can't get them. And I'm just scanning. Uh, we don't need to send the uh, Manticore bomb back. We can just check this out. Manticore 2 is currently running on empty. But yeah, I mean, as long as we... Yeah, I mean, we might be able to get a, a base here and that's gonna be amazing. That's what I'm, I'm really hoping for. And Manticore 2, after we get uh, some armor, it might be okay. But, of course... Yeah, we already have AoE. So I think I'm just gonna go for a regular heavy weapon. I don't know if it's gonna be a Deceptor MG. Effective range 9. We just can't close in. I'm a little bit tempted to go for Phoenix Grenade Launcher. But I think Hell Cannon 2 is gonna be uh, the pick. Yeah. Also, Neuralizer is uh, an interesting consideration uh, for some characters. Yeah, I'll just check it out. Actually, maybe not, because this episode is already damn long. <laughs> and holy crap. Also, we seem to have two nests. Is there a way to slow this down? Because uh, I saved one base over here. And now it's destroyed. So... And is this happening where I started? It seemed to be happening everywhere. Not only where I started. I do seem to... It does seem like... That uh, where I started it's uh, where it's the most extreme. I don't know. I don't know how we can uh, repel this. But I'll try. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for watching again. See you next time.